The end always leads to the beginning of newer avenues and dimensions. And when the beginning is well planned and executed effortlessly, the end becomes beautiful. Hello friends, are you intrigued by my utterances of the end, the beginning, the beginning and again the end? I am before you with a purpose, a purpose of giving you the right mode of pronouncing the word the. Now the thought in you is, what is the big deal in pronouncing the? We all know it already. Yes, agreed. We all know the word and also its pronunciation. But how many of us know that there are two ways to pronounce this word? And that there are three different conditions which determine its pronunciation? Well, it's a simple learning and it takes us a long way in toning our language skills. Shall we look into it? The is pronounced sometimes as the and sometimes as the. The three simple rules are the before a consonant sound is pronounced as the. The before a vowel sound is pronounced as the. And when we place emphasis on a particular word, we say the, the emphatic the, whether the following word is a consonant sound or a vowel sound. Let me just cite some more examples to show you precisely how it works. The before a consonant sound is the. Examples are the banana, the dog, the European. Since there is a Y sound, we say it as European and therefore we get the. The flowers, the house, the university. Next. The before a vowel sound is the. Examples are the apple, the elephant, the ice cream, the orange, the umbrella, the air. Next, while placing emphasis on a word, we say the. Examples are the best, the most intelligent, the cutest puppy the largest, the deepest, the strongest. Here are few more sentences with the and the. The ferry crossed the Irish Sea. The right way is the only way. The answer is at the back of the book. The fire hasn't reached the upper floor yet. The girl felt at home in the empty house. Shall we create stories? I will join the union using the, the before consonant sounds. Shall we take the up escalator or the Here down escalator? It is the honorable thing to do. Now, shall we try pronouncing the right D at the right time? Let's be conscious of our utterances of the word the. Shall we create stories or poems using the before consonant sounds and the before vowel sounds? Here is mine. The morning is cold and misty. Apu, the elephant, is playing in a large tub of water. Apu, one of the most mischievous baby elephants of the ancient temple in Kerala, always pushes Kuttapan, the Mahout, onto the ground and rolls him over. The caretaker, Kutapan, has a big heart. Whatever mischief Apu indulges in, he never rebukes or punishes Apu. The eyes of Apu are ever fixed on the moments of Kutapan. One day, the honest Kutapan was getting the umbrellas decorated for a procession of the temple deity. Apu ran to him, pushed Kutapan over the floor, and started showering all his love and affection towards his caretaker Kutapan. In the process, Apu trampled the decorated umbrellas. All of them lost their shapes. Only traces of the umbrellas were visible. Kutapan knew he has to begin the elaborate task of decorating umbrellas all over again. Yet, he did not lose his temper. Instead, he pulled the ears of Apu close to him and kissed him on the trunk. Now, it's your turn, friends. Let's create stories or poems using the before consonant sounds and the before vowel sounds. Bye. Happy learning.